Hey, Ken. Uh, Bill Warren with The Athletic. Welcome back to L.A. Um, I, I wonder if, you know, when you, when you were last year, there was some, uh, for, for a long time, there was a lot of fans who felt like you were kind of the one who got away a little bit after the Lakers didn't give you that qualifying offer in 2014. And you remember that was all kind of part of this idea so they could make a max offer to Carmelo. I'm wondering, <laughs> is there any irony to you now seven years later that you're back here and it happens to be um, alongside Carmelo Anthony? Oh, it's funny you mentioned that. Uh, that was kind of a, uh, that kind of lit a fire uh, underneath me a little bit. Um, you know, when I, back in the day when I used to hold on to those kind of things before I understood the business uh, side of everything. But no, I, you know, I'm just very fortunate to have another opportunity to play um, in the best league of basketball. You know, uh, one of the greatest organizations in, in any sport. Uh, and, you know, I played with Carmelo up in Portland. Uh, Last season, two se last season, can't remember. But uh, no, nah, it's just cool being in a locker room with a, with a bunch of guys that uh, I've been playing with, just playing with for a while, uh, playing against for a while. It's my tenth season, uh, and you know I'm here to win, and I think a lot of guys are. So I'm looking forward to seeing you know how that all you know comes in fruition. Kyle, 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 um, thought I'd just ask you if you could describe um, sort of your your free agency uh, journey there. What you felt like the Lakers offered that was different from other opportunities you might have had, and and um, to your to the point you were just making, if there were some guys on this roster who were telling you, hey, you gotta come to the Lakers, gotta come to the Lakers. Um. Well, you know, it's my, I, I, I've been in a, a bunch of situations like these. Um, you know, it's, it's never an easy decision. Um, you know, but this summer I kind of cleared my, my mental space. Um, you know, I was home alone, actually. My, my, my wife and kids were out of town. So um, I had a lot of time to kind of think and, and let the body kind of feel uh, what felt right. And I felt, you know, the Lakers were uh, very, very persistent. I heard from, uh, you know, Mr. Palenka and, and Coach Vogel a ton over the first couple of hours of the evening uh, once free agency started. So, um, you know, they really brought an amazing energy to the table. Um, uh, you know, it really felt like I had a place on that roster, you know, to, to really make a difference. And to me, that, that, that stuck out the most. Um, like I said, it's my 10th season. And um, you know, you, you're all about, you know, uh, trying to put yourself in the best position to, to succeed. and I felt like that's here, uh, you know, Russell Westbrook, um, LeBron, AD, Melo, Trevor Reza. Uh, Trevor Reza is a guy I'm looking forward to learn a lot from, uh, you know, being a, a wing defender. He's made, you know, um, you know an outstanding career from, from being a 3 and D guy. So I'm looking forward to kind of picking his brain uh, and, you know, being amongst, you know, Russ's energy every day. Uh, you know, LeBron's, you know, how he can see the floor. I've always admired that about him. Um, you know, and I said earlier, that guy caused me a lot of mental and physical pain uh, throughout my career. So I'm um, looking forward to kind of being on the same, you know, the same side with him and trying to get the job done. So uh, we're, 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 I think we're definitely be one of the favorites this year. Uh, you know, a lot of people want to talk about our age, but, you know, in this game, it's a man's game and experience is key. Um, you know, experience is something that you can't, you can't buy. Um, you know, you gotta you gotta go through the ups and downs of this league, and uh, you know, only strong survive. And I feel like we have a very very strong team, even down to the younger guys, uh, Taylor Horton Tucker, um, Kendrick Nunn, big fan of his, lefty undrafted guy, um, Malik Monk. Um, you know, he's in Charlotte for the past couple of seasons, but I think with the right people around him, he he can become a very special talent. So. Um, I'm looking forward to what the uh, future holds, and you know, I look to bring my my leadership skills, uh, my optimism. Um, we are the best team in basketball. That'll be my message all year, regardless of what we're going through. Um, so, I'm looking forward to it. Dave. Dave, how are you doing? Welcome back to LA. Yes, sir. Uh, just, I've covered you uh, playing against LeBron many times over the years, and, and to me, it always seemed like you went kind of hard uh, against him. Um, and you said he's caused you mental and physical anguish, but 
was that was there something to that? Was, were my eyes deceiving me? And in your time talking to LeBron about coming to here, did that ever come up? Um, you know, just uh, how much competitive fire you brought to this matchup? Uh, no, yeah, I mean it's something I want to do face to face when we get to sit down. Uh, maybe doing training camp or something, we get to get to rap about it. But um, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for him, what he's done for the game of basketball. Um, you know, even winning the last championship down in the bubble, uh, I was down there and I, I realized how crazy of a grind it was for them to get it done. Uh, you know, showed a lot. But um, you know, he, you know, even even when I was in college, he was in the league. You know, I was always like, you know, I wanted to play against him, I wanted to go against him, and I got my chance. Uh, my first year in Atlanta, Eastern Conference Finals, and you know I realized how different of a beast he was, uh, and you know I lost a lot of sleep, you know having to guard him. Um, you know even when we played him, get chirpy, his team would put me on the floor a little bit, but I ain't back down. Uh, and I think um, you know that just kind of drove me to to wanting to beat him. Um, so uh, it's just a, it's a, I, I would say it's probably mutual respect. I mean, obviously I don't have near the track record he has, but um, you know he'll probably say in 15 years that I was one of the guys that never backed down, and even in practice, it ain't gonna change. Uh, PT. Hey, Coach. Um, you know, from the LA Times. This is a very deep and loyal team. Will that make it stressful or fun trying to call one of all? Uh, make it. I mean, it's 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 the grind. You know, there there's no uh, in this league where the talent is so abundant. You know, you got to earn it. You got to earn your minutes, and um, that's one of the first things I got from from Coach Vogel. Uh, he's a he's a fair man, uh, and nothing's given. I mean, he's a defensive first coach, so he's he he wears the hard hat, blue collar. Um, so it's, it's nothing that's like, hey, here, it's just yours. And he said on the phone, you got to earn your minutes. So, um, and that's just how I like it. You know, iron sharpens iron. Um, we're only going to be as good as the, the, the weakest link. You're only as good as your weakest link. Um, we don't have any of those here, but uh, we're going to, we're going to, you know, push each other every day to be the best we can. And, you know, we're playing against somebody in another uniform. We're going to do our best to uh, take it to them. So I'm um, looking forward to the, uh, to the everyday grind of you know the matchups or whoever it is, just guys trying to you know jike for position, uh, you know to play for you know playing the purple and gold. Okay, um, our last question here will be Alex Caruso. Coach, what are you most Hey Ken, um, seven ten ESPN. Just to get your thoughts on your role, just specifically how you feel like your game, how it complements. Uh, the rest of the roster, how you feel like, uh, obviously, you'll be able to add to what the Lakers already have? Uh, defensively is where I hang my hat. Um, you know, getting that assignment every night. Um, you know, you see the, if you watch the playoffs, you see all the, the, the younger talent um, at the guard position. Um, you know, you watch the Dames, you watch Devin Booker, you watch uh, Donovan Mitchell, you watch, uh, I mean, uh, you got Steph, you got, you got so many guys, uh, you know, so many young guards or guards, uh, guys at the guard position that demand a lot of attention uh, from each team. So uh, I'm looking forward to coming in and you know, kind of shutting off that water. Uh, you know, waking up every night, uh, waking up every day with the with the with that assignment to uh, guard other teams' best player uh, at the guard position. Obviously, we have size on the wing. You know, we got Bron and AD. Um, you know, having. AD at the rim, you know, Dwight Howard at the rim would give me a chance to be a little bit more aggressive out in the perimeter. Uh, and they're obviously changing a little bit of the rules with all the, the, the funkiness that these offensive guys got away with last year. So uh, that'll be a well in my favor as well. So